Sometimes we want scrolling to be paginated or in a carousel. We are going to build this Facebook events prototype with paginated scrolling, building upon what we've learned in the previous scrolling content. Make sure you download the files that come with this tutorial to follow along. If you're starting from these files, you should see that we have our assets in place. We have five cards for our carousel, each the same width and each the same distance from each other, 10 points. They are placed in a group that is the width of all the cards in line with the usual 10 points padding at the start and end. We add scroll like any other interaction by hovering over the layer, clicking on touch and then clicking on a scroll option. We want horizontal scrolling, so let's choose scroll X. What we end up with on the patch editor is a scroll patch connected directly to the X position of that layer, the H scroll group. Scrolling the H scroll group works fine, but it's free scrolling. To make the scroll paging, we need to change the scroll X input from free to paging. For any full width content, this would be all we need to do. But because our cards are actually smaller than the width of the screen, we need to tell the scroll exactly how big each one of these cards or pages is. All right, to give the scroll settings, let's add a scroll settings patch. Double tap in the patch editor or simply press command return and type scroll settings and press return. Let's connect, first of all, the output of the scroll settings patch to the input on the scroll patch called settings. So there's a ton of settings here. We don't usually need to use them all. Let's start by changing the page size to have a width of 275, the same as an individual card. And then the page padding to a width of 10, the same as the padding between each of the cards. We're not changing the height from zero because we're only doing horizontal scrolling here. So changing the height properties of any of these doesn't really change anything. Now when we scroll, our cards take up one swipe or scroll. The first and last are aligned to the sides and the middle ones are in the center. If you want to finesse or practice using the other settings, check out the documentation below this video. I'm going to change the animation properties tension and friction since Android is a little more rigid than these presets. So I'm going to change the first one to something like 440 and the friction to 46. And let's try. Scrolling in origami has the rubber banding effect by default. This is what you see in most use cases of scrolling and definitely everywhere in iOS. Except we're designing for Android here and we don't want this over drag at the start and end of our scroll. We need to contain the scroll to certain bounds, the start X position and the end X position. To contain values, we need to add the clip patch. In the patch editor, or press command return, type in clip, and then press return. So we know that the position now at the very end is minus 1075. Okay, so it's just increasing to a positive number, and the first card is at position zero. So we know our maximum is zero, since that's the largest number, and the last card is at, again, minus 1075, and because that's a negative number, it's smaller than zero. So let's make that our minimum value, minus 1,075. Let's connect our scroll X output to our clip value. And then connect the output of the clip to the input of the H scroll position, layer property patch. Okay, so once we've done this, let's give dragging or scrolling rather another go. Okay, so inside works fine, but as soon as we get to the start and end, it's clipped just how we wanted it to be within these two values. If you keep an eye on the output of the scroll, it's showing the larger value or smaller value in that case and the larger value on the first card, but the clip patch is actually containing it within those two values. So that wraps up our intro to horizontal scrolling. If you want to finesse or practice using the other settings, check out the documentation below this video. Also check out the example files to see how scroll settings is used elsewhere.